Hello everyone, this week on Heat Vision Breakdown we are joined by very special guest Dan Fogler, the star of Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, in theaters today. Does it look like the logo is uh, zapping you with like lasers? <laughs> Uh, we're going to ask you a few questions about the new movie, and then we're going to play a little game to figure out who is the best wizard of all time. Oh, boy. In this new movie, we also have the addition of Jude Law as a young, sexy Dumbledore. He's sexy. I think we can say that, right? Yeah. yeah. Have you looked into the man's eyes? <laughs> you have looked into his eyes, and you are working with Johnny Depp in a much more expanded role in this new one. Uh, what was it like working with them and bringing them into uh, this world? Oh yeah, both of those guys are legends. And um, you're wondering like, you know, Jude, uh, how is he gonna be? You know, right. I've seen the movie twice already, and I'm just like, oh, he's awesome. He gets the accent, and even the beard kind of looks like, yes, that will grow into a longer beard. You know, it's like, he's just like, this, he's got the swagger and the glint in his eye, he's perfect. Johnny is um, also like menacing and really scary, uh, you know, as Grindelwald. Right. Um, he is an excellent bad guy in this. And then, you know, in between takes, he, he was just like, hey man, you, you know, how you doing? Like, he was like, totally cool. That's pretty good. <laughs> Did you like that? <laughs> yeah, I like yeah, it. I've been working on it. Nice. You have said that this movie is sort of like the Empire Strikes Back of the Fantastic Beast or of the Harry Potter world. Meaning it's probably mm. going to be a little bit darker in tone. The first one was pretty dark. How much darker does this one get? It's got a lot of the same parallels uh, in it. Empire Strikes Back is my favorite movie. Oh, yeah. Favorite out of the Star Wars series. That's what I grew up on. And in Empire, the good guys are taken down a notch. You know, at the end of Empire, Luke loses his hand. You know, the, the, the good guys have uh, taken a beat and the bad guys have leveled the playing field. Same thing happens in Crimes of Grindelwald. And you're left at the end, like, wondering, oh my god, you know, is everyone gonna be okay? I have to see the next one, you know? Uh, your character, Jacob Kowalski, is a nomad or a muggle. Are you jealous of the magic users in the movie? Do you wish you were a magic user? Yeah. <laughs> that was a definitive answer. <laughs> you know, he's a magical dude because his heart is so damn big. Aww. But like, you know, the Star Wars reference, Han Solo didn't know how to use the Force. It's true. Lay that into the zeitgeist right <laughs> no, I there. Like that. Jacob Han Solo. The same. All right, we are going to find out who the best wizard or magical person is of all time. We're going to go two at a time and whittle it down until we are to the best wizard of all time. Are you ready for that? Yeah, I'm ready for that. All right. To start off, we have Gandalf. Oh, not Gandalf. Dumbledore. They both have long beards. <laughs> We have Dumbledore versus That's him. a younger version of Dumbledore. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. This is hard. I know. Because experience has to be handsomeness. Uh, he's so sexy. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna pick him. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> you thought I was gonna go He's anymore. out of there. All right, up next, we actually have Gandalf. I was just thinking about Chris today. And Fang. I don't think Fang's a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Although, <laughs> he would confuse the crap out of him by Gandalf. Oh, Gandalf gone. That is a shock. I, right. I can't believe that. He's not even a wizard. <laughs> we have Credence from Fantastic Beasts versus Gargamel, oh the Smurf-hating wizard of the Smurfs. Pretty sure that the Obscurious would melt his crazy face off. <laughs> Goodbye, Gargamel. <laughs> the Smurfs live another day. All right. We have two very powerful magic users. We have Grindelwald Oops. himself versus Doctor Strange. Um, this guy is in the other studio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a really hard one, though. Is it? So we have Harry Potter himself versus Hermione Granger. Hermione. He would win in a duel, mm -hmm. but he would never hurt her. And then she would take advantage of that. Uh, <laughs> and stab him in the eye. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's awful. Sorry, Harry. Oh. <laughs> so long, Harry. Last one, and this might be the hardest of all of them. We have your character, Jacob Kowalski. Who has no magic skills at no, all. No, but he's also going up against somebody who also doesn't have magic skills, Han Solo himself. Han has a blaster. Sorry, man, you haven't been around long enough. You're oh! You're awesome. <laughs> On second thought, you remind me of me. <laughs> Han, you're also with the other studio. Wow. Jacob wins. Oh, the upset. Every time. <laughs> Round two, wow. Credence for Spain. <laughs> wow. I want him to survive just because of how good your Christopher Walken impression is, to be honest with you. I think you're right. Although, my Credence is pretty good too. <laughs> Sorry, man. Oh. He'll forgive me. <laughs> I love Chris Walken so much. All right, we have yourself again versus a schoolgirl, Hermione <laughs> Granger, who's also a very powerful wizard. So Why are you putting me against her? She beat me. Oh, you made it to the second round, though. She's a jerk. This is the finals now. 
Well, the semifinals. We have Christopher Walken yet again as Fang versus a young, sexy Jude Law double door. Wow, this is hard. Sorry. Oh! <laughs> I want Chris to win. All right, this is who's going to go Chris. against Chris Walken. We have Grindelwald or Hermione. This mm. is a good one, too. I'm going to say Hermione is going to pull something out of her brain. Oh. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. All right. And the final, and we'll get a drum roll. Now, this is obvious. Yeah, I mean, everyone knows the answer to this. We have Christopher Walken's character. <laughs> <laughs> I won, mostly because my hair is so good. <laughs> you know who the real wizard is? Dan, has anyone heard of remote viewing? It's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there you have it. The winner of the best wizard of all time is A, not a wizard, and B, is Christopher Walken's character, Fang, from the 2007 hit, Balls of Fury. You know why I was thinking about Chris is because yeah. he would make an incredible professor there. Let's get Christopher Walken in the Harry Potter verse. Chris, 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 Chris. Chris. <laughs> We're the only ones? Nobody else. All right, I want to thank our guest, Dan Fogler, for joining us. He is the star of the new film, Fantastic Beasts, Crimes of Grindelwald, in theaters right now. Go check it out. Dan, thank you so much again, and for putting to rest, finally, who is the greatest wizard of all time? It's Chris walking every time. Oh, oh my god. I'm not good at that. Uh. <laughs>